Hey everyone, uh, welcome to this video. Today I want to show you my new camera. I've been umming and ahhing about trying the Fuji brand and I finally decided to do it. So I didn't go with the uh, Fuji X-T4. I bought these Fuji, the cheaper, the Fuji X-T3. I'll just give you a quick little close up in case you're also thinking of doing a switch perhaps. Um, it's got a little flip screen, but only goes sort of, it doesn't go right round. So um, nevertheless, uh, it's got some little camera straps as usual, two card slots, which is good. Uh, let me just show you, I'll just open these up. Uh, so there's the two card slots, which is handy. I've never actually had that in a camera, I don't think from memory. Um, and there's your ports and there's also a little port up here for the remote. I think Fuji's got their own remote. Um, it's not coming up very well, is it? There it is there. And yeah, it's, um, I've just got to charge up the battery, but it's got, um, yeah, menus and, you know, all sorts of things that are cool and film simulations and yeah the dials at the top are really unique because not many cameras come with these where you can dial up uh, your settings at the top so i'm pretty excited about that but in this video what's let's have a look at the lens that i bought with it which is the 23 mil f2 should give me around the 35 mil uh, equivalent to on the aps-c so let's have a look what's in there, a little lens bag or lens cloth, some pamphlets, user manual, and da 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 da. Oh, it's tiny, look. Oh, it's so small. What have we got there? Or oh, lens and a little lens cap thing, something. I don't know what this is, let's see. Let me put the lens down. Maybe it's like a little hood or something. I'm new to the Fuji world, so yeah, it looks like a little cap. And let's take the lens. Oh, it's super tiny, honestly. That's so small. Oh my gosh. That's just so small. Wow. Oh, that is really tiny. Just to give you an idea, I'll put up the um, Sony 10 to 18. Just quickly take it off the camera. Just to give you an idea of the size, the difference there. So they are significantly different. That is so small. Anyway, um, I'll put this on the camera and then we'll do a few snaps and I might do a little bit of video to some music just to see what it looks like. So I will leave you with that um, and like and subscribe if you want to see more from me and um, leave me some comments in the section below if you've got any questions or any suggestions or whatever you might want to say and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!
So before I go, I thought I would just quickly test the vlogging capacity of this. So I've got it handheld now um, and I'll just do a little walk um, around my house just to see what it's like in terms of shakiness. This lens doesn't have stabilization and nor does the camera. So we'll do a turn. I'm just holding it in my arm in front of me um, and walking around. So I'll do that walk again just so that you can um, see what it's like. I've got the white balance set to auto, so I don't know how it's doing. I've got the prof picture profile set to Astia, I think, which is soft or something, I think it's called. Um, and uh, aperture set to auto, ISO 160. And what else? Shadow of 150th. So what do you think? How does it look? Let me know in the comments. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.